Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to another Division video. Now in this Division video, I'm going to showcase what I think is probably one of the most OP builds you can build right now in 1.5. And that, of course, involves Alpha Bridge and the Fat Mass. Um, just look at the numbers. Uh, 412k DPS and keep in mind, these guns have horrible talents. They have a couple of good ones, but as you see, I don't even have one active on my Fat Mass and I don't have uh, a second or third good perk for my uh, G36. Uh, I would realistically like to get a, a better G36 and a, a better FAMAS, but for me the FAMAS hasn't been dropping that uh, often, so uh, yeah, I've been <laughs> rolling with this one. But it does have Uncomplicated, and that's basically the only one that you need to have a OP build like this, and uh, you can just get some insane results. Um, now to build this, obviously you're going to need a FAMAS and a primary with a high, higher base damage than the FAMAS. Because um, what the talent Uncomplicated actually does is it gives you a flat increase of 15% and accuracy and stability mods obviously reduce this amount. But if you do not mod, mod any of the guns with uh, stability or accuracy mods, um, I know there has been a lot of rumours around this, and it is untrue that if you mod your primary with stability and accuracy mods, the bonus uh, still applies at the full 15%. Uh, I can show you this right now, that it, that is completely untrue. If, even if I just put on the, say, the scope, that would slightly increase my DPS, but it has some stability and accuracy. Um, as you see there, it does lower down my bonus damage I get on top of the 21k. Uh, so I'm actually just running with crit hit chance and crit hit damage because it seems to be a lot better uh, for the base damage and uh, it, it's just cooler, okay? Um, so as you see there, it gives me an extra 3000 da damage, which is an insane amount. It's causing me to do uh, near enough 90k headshots due uh, to AI because I have near 40% uh, enemy armor damage on this build which is really 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 nice especially since that applies to PvP now and I've never seen a G36 melt a player so fast uh, but that is partially because people right now don't have the most op optimal builds and uh, yeah that's basically why we are able to destroy them so quick but if you see here, I'm using four piece alpha bridge. I've opted to use a mm. tactical pack which has specialized, and that just gives me an extra 25k skill power, allows me to use booster shot and be actually reliable. And another high end I'm using to just uh, make booster shot even more reliable and uh, help a lot in PvP situations is the refreshed mask. Um, Another mask that I use in this build is my Pharaoh's Oxygen Mask. I was lucky enough to get one of these to drop. I got it from a field proficiency case, if you were wondering. They do drop all the name, uh, named gear. Uh, I don't think they drop the named weapons, though. I think you get the MDR from Survival, and the Tommy Gun gets from DZ uh, caches. But I might do a video on that as a separate thing to this, because this is about this build. Uh, I've got some Assault Rifle Govs. Uh, gloves, uh, they have damage to elites, health and kill. I would like that to be crit hit chance and crit hit damage. Uh, that would make this build even better. Um, I have a holster, obviously. Uh, not even a good roll on my holster. I, I would really like to have uh, all of them over 12, uh, 1200. And uh, I have my knee pads, which have uh, stamina, armor, and any armor damage. So they're pretty good themselves. Uh, I couldn't get the, I can get the armor a little bit higher, so I will be doing that. And finally, I'm using a chest piece as health, armor, ammo capacity, and stamina. So that's basically a god roll. Um, really, really nice. Uh, another setup I use in this is I switch out my gloves for my. Uh, I have savage gloves. Uh, here. Uh, I would recommend re-rolling them for assault rifle damage, and I did actually mean to do that before this video. Mm -hmm. And then I use my Alpha Bridge backpack, because I was lucky enough to get one with armor, and uh, I had to obviously re-roll the electronics from uh, electronics to stamina, because for some reason every single Alpha Bridge backpack drops with electronics, 
and uh, apparently it's not a bug so that's a bit weird uh, I, I would personally say that's a bug but hey oh developers are developers it's their game uh, as you see if I change that up it gives me a lot higher toughness it makes me a lot tankier in the dark zone and this is what I run with in the dark zone by the way and it still gives me really really good and really really viable primary DPS and if I show you some of the stats here um, as you see here I've got 20k damage uh, wait let me just make sure I'm on my G36 by doing that I've got 20k damage with this setup um, 50% hit crit hit chance which is pretty low that's pretty low too uh, 112 headshot damage which is pretty nice um, let's see here one 1 1.5 second reload time that's because I have swift uh, but personally I would recommend not purposely going for swift but it's pretty good uh, uh, regardless 20% uh, base weapon damage um, bonus which is absolute crazy that's the 5% from Alpha Bridge and the 15% from the Bamas talent, um, which obviously that really really helps. <laughs> An extra 20% is a crazy amount in this game. Um, got Marksman Rifle Damage Bonus. That should be Assault Rifle that would get my DPS up a lot more, probably around 380k it would pit it up. Um, I've got almost 40% enemy armor damage, which is a really really nice amount and with this particular setup I have 4% health on kill and uh, last of but not least let's go to the toughness I have nearly well I have 192k uh, health with 52.25 at uh, 23 armor mitigation which you can get up a little bit higher but I've been having a lot of trouble getting past 53% and I will just quickly show you if I go to my assault rifle gloves and go onto these, obviously take off that mods, put them on, go over to my character. As you see here, that gives me uh, 24,000 base damage, uh, which is absolutely insane. That doesn't even take into account anything like uh, uh, prepared. Um, responsive anything like that so it's an insane amount um, a little bit lower on the uh, crit hit damage but that's fine uh, for an assault rifle uh, this one actually gives me 8% health on kill and 9% damage to elites so that's why I use this one a lot more in PvE situations and it is absolute crazy uh, one last thing I want to show you is the skills I'm running with. I recommend running with this if you're solo, not if you're in a group, or maybe you run with that, maybe. Uh, I was just playing PvP, so I had that on that, but I'd recommend running with a pulse just to increase your crit hit chance, uh, because it's pretty low with this build. And a uh, booster shot, just because why not? I mean, watch this. If I pop that, look at that crazy crazy numbers that is absolutely insane i'm actually going to screenshot that for the thumbnail and uh that's it i just wanted to quickly get this video out to you guys uh, show it off because i believe this is going to be the new meta and i just wanted to quickly get a video out there before too many pe uh, uh, too many people do and i know that it's been a little bit long but i wanted to go in depth with uh, a few of the things and i hope it wasn't too bad it wasn't i hope i, I didn't bore you too much uh, but if you guys have enjoyed please hit that like button please uh, subscribe also if you aren't because it helps me out it's pretty cool and uh, I'll have a lot more builds coming your way and for some reason my DPS isn't falling down but I'll take that numbers <laughs> see you guys in the next one